of Atlas Survival Shelters. Guys, if you haven't seen my channel, I promise you today is going to be one of the best videos I've ever put on the YouTube channel. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this right here. We are going to put in a 10 foot by 40 modular shelter under a big old Mediterranean style house like you're seeing in this image right here. This thing has all the bells and whistles under the floor storage, built in water tanks. We finally show you how the septic system works, how the plumbing works, how the water works. And guys, you're just going to love this video. I hope you share it, subscribe to my channel, like it, and do all those things that hey, makes other people see it. But this is really, seriously, this is one of the best install videos I've ever got to edit for you guys. So sit back and enjoy it. Hey, and don't forget, go to uh, shelterwithatlas.com if you want to get some of the survival food so you can help yourself and help my channel. But guys, I'll see you at the end of the video. Train's arriving. Over here we got a dozer. It's making the road so that the bunker can make it up here. This is the first of the trucks for the crane, bringing the counterweight. Still clearing out roads for the tractors and trailers to come and park. Making roads for the bunker. So now they're sending the counterweights. So here's the site, that's where the truck, the truck is gonna come in here with the bunker, come around this road. It's gonna stop right here. And that crane is gonna pick it up and put in a hole and the hole's on the opposite side of that crane. They're gonna take this mini excavator out of the hole with the crane. Can't even get the whole crane in the picture.
of these. it up it's all four corners here's the crank look at this thing we're gonna tighten it up a little bit see how everything's sitting before we do the final click Right there. Move it down a foot. First part is set. taking the counterweights off the crank.
that exciting. These are coming from the generator pod. They're taped at the top. So these are the two electrical conduits from the back of the bunker. We got long sweep 90s on there, electrical conduit or PVC. This is the front of the bunker. That first one right here, that's an extra pipe. This is where the water's gonna go into. This one right here is the vent for the plumbing system. And then this one here that comes up and out and around and up over here, that's gonna go to the sewer. bunch of holes in that bucket full with that rock big pipe it goes downhill just a little bit so that to that where it entrance so when the air comes in it's traveling uphill and then back down there so this is where the grinder pump comes out of the bunker well, you'll see the pipe the water will come. I got the, the two sinks on running, the faucets, the kitchen sink, and the bathroom sink. And it's filling up the grinder pump. And the grinder pump only has like a gallon tank in it. You see that? So now that I know this is working, I'm gonna take that pipe and I'm gonna connect it right into that hole. We're gonna go see a 10 by 40. water. This is actually hooked up to the street. Filtered water, reverse osmosis. Microwave.
here's a cool thing here. We go down here. We have the water tanks. And if you want to run the water tanks, you shut off the main. You shut off the bypass. Right here, we're going to open. We're going to open. And then we're going to, this is the water tank. So now that pressure pump. that's not enough to use the power of it. But we are running off the water tanks. So when you run another one, it's running continuous. And it's sucking that right out of these tanks. I'm gonna shut the door and watch the overpressure blast valve. That's how much air the air system is moving. Now that's right next to the toilet. So it sucks the air right from the toilet. And down below, we have a grinder pump. So when I go to flush the toilet, that pumps it right to the surface into the septic tank. So where the water comes in is right here. Then it goes through this here. This right here is the decontamination shower. It goes right up and out into the mudroom, okay? This, we have it shut off right now. I just turned it off. We'll run into this, which is a pressure regulator because the pressure is so high here where we're located. We put a pressure regulator in. But that you can turn up or down depending on your pressure and it's off right now. Well guys, I hope you enjoy that video right there. You know what? I'll get another video when he builds his house or his barn, whatever he's going to do on top of that. And uh, he gets it furnished and everything inside. And I'll try to get some footage for that. And if not, I'll get some other ones because I'm selling a lot of these bunkers right here because a lot of people are liking this. And I can't always film these things. But this particular video, the installer filmed it for me, and that's why I got the footage, because I just don't run around and film all these things, you know? I wish I could, but guys, hey, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, and I hope you are, make sure you like and subscribe, share this video, hit the little ding ding bell, let you know when the next video comes in. And guys, I got some great videos coming up, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you share my videos too, because I want everyone to see what I'm doing, because I'm really proud of it. But guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video.